Father Kevin Mannion, we know that Mother Teresa very soon will become a saint, and so are other saints in the past, but people always wonder, this process takes a long, long time. So how do you foresee the cause for uh, Father Aloysius Elecuria? Well, uh, this is a really an interesting question because I don't know if uh, many of the, of the listeners or the viewers have actually heard the controversy. There's some don't uh, polemic here in Rome, you know, our new Holy Father, uh, Pope Francis, he's not new now, he's been there since 2013. Um, he's um, making sure that the uh, Vatican um, the structure is the right size, and I think that they're going ahead and maybe uh, right sizing the budget and so forth like that. Well, all of this could be very helpful for the cause, because causes of sainthood are very expensive, but since the Pope has given a very clearly the message. He doesn't want lots of expensive um, causes, as far as you know. The, 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 there has been some observation that causes of sainthood are very expensive. Well, I think that uh, the timeliness of Father Lewis's cause in the present moment is quite uh, I think opportune, because we're going to get the benefit of I would say the right sizing, if we want to call it that, of uh, Pope Francis's uh, approach to managing uh, the Catholic Church and the different uh, bureaucracies. Um, and at the same time, we have one of the best of uh, postulators. He is a lay postulator, he's a layman, but he is certified by the Congregation of Saints, and he has been responsible. I think currently, from what I've read, um, he has 90 different causes that he's working with and you can't really generalize how long one cause will take or another because each cause has its own special itinerary of um, you know you got to present uh, your arguments you got to substantiate with evidence and so forth like that but uh, generally if things are prepared and we're hoping that things will be prepared um, we've got the best postulator he wants to get the job done as soon as possible and it really depends upon the church and if the church wants to move forward quickly it can in fact it can even move as quickly as within five years after cause is introduced and that has happened in the past in some causes some other causes last for hundreds of years you know and it's basically depends upon the church and uh, what the church deems is the importance at that particular time of this particular servant of God so in a sense, we'll let it, uh, the church decide how quickly it wants to move. But from our part, from the perspective of the association, we uh, want to have everything ready as the church names the uh, various commission heads and uh, goes ahead and officially instructs the cause and opens the cause, so to speak. Uh, we want to make sure that our part is all ready to go. So um, uh, it's in the hands of God, it's in the hands of the church, it's in the hands of the archbishop. And um, if uh, people are able to help in any way, volunteering or uh, somehow lending their services, that will certainly be a help as well. Father Kevin, is it a must or a requirement that uh, there is a record of miracle healing for one to become a saint? Well, in the case uh, of all of them, I would think, uh, they should have a reputation of sanctity uh, even before the cause is opened. So in the case of Father Aloysius, uh, there's not a very popular devotion to him. He had a reputation of holiness, and he inspired others to holiness in their lives. But specifically regarding uh, miracles, um, once the cause is officially um, instituted, and the Archbishop has named the tribunal judges and the heads of the commissions, and you have the I guess you have the postulator, you have the, the devil's advocate, you have the notary, you have the, the people that are all part of the tribunal process. Once that happens, the church is especially looking for a miracle that takes place from the official um, date of beginning the proceedings until, I guess, uh, the moment of um, declaration as a, um, I believe, that the servant of God is called a venerable, and then there can be what is called a formal declaration of beatification, once there is a miracle. So we are looking for miracles, and the miracles themselves, um, 
allowance for that to take place is kind of interesting. That it depends upon where the person that claims that they have been healed or have received some type of a miraculous um, intervention. Uh, if it's, let's say, in Arizona or if it's in Kentucky or wherever it is, that's where that particular another tribunal is set up uh, with the doctors and experts to examine whether a particular miracle did take place or not. And there is a rigorous standard that the church administers, um, and it would be administered at the level of the local diocese of wherever the purported miracle takes place. But yes, we need miracles. And if there's any message that might be uh, very urgently needed to be heard is, yes, we need people to, uh, if Father of Wishes has been instrumental in helping in some special way that would be considered miraculous, whether it's a cure or otherwise, it could be something else. Like you, you know, you're going to go off a cliff because you were driving so quickly, but somehow or other the, the car was turned around and you had had a special, let's say, um, special, uh, I guess, interest in Father on the wishes, and uh, you know, you prayed your guardian angel or something, and somehow uh, you can demonstrate that our uh, wishes had some type of. Um, was just some type of instrumentality for that particular miracle. But yeah, we want to hear about that. So, um, yeah, we are looking for miracles. What is needed for a true beatification would be, I believe, it's at least one miracle, but well, let's say we want as many miracles as possible because many of them um, may not have all the elements necessary which the church is looking for. We're talking to Father Kevin Mannion, and we're finalizing this interview, and we will be asking questions about all the other activities involved with the association. 